Hello and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock with me, Mr. Beardstone. And I'll tell you what, I think, I think we're done. I mean, don't get me wrong. With something like this, there's always more that can be done. You can always keep adding to it, you can keep improving things. But I think for me, for now, for this area, I, th I think we are actually finished. And it feels really good, but a little bit strange at the same time because we've been working on this area for almost an entire year. Yes, almost a year. I can't believe it's been that long. It, it really doesn't feel like it whatsoever. It, it barely feels like yesterday when I joined the server. And that's entirely down to the amount of fun we've had on this server. You know the saying, time flies when you're having fun? Well, we've had so much fun, an entire year has passed and I just, I don't understand how. So I think this episode, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. About a week ago, I asked in my Discord what people's favorite parts of the last year on TV were. We had some very interesting replies. And by combining those suggestions with some of my own favourite parts, I think we're going to have a bit of a flashback episode. And with that, I think we're also going to schedule in a full base tour. I'm going to show you around the area. I'm going to show you some of my favourite parts of what we've built over here and also elsewhere on the server. So it's kind of like a world tour, but pretty much just of the things that we've built. Because if I covered everything the amazing people on the server have done, we're going to be here till next year. So with that, it's time to sit back, relax, and let's just have a look around our base.
Hope you enjoyed that brief showcase of some areas around the base there. I did have a little bit of trouble with some of the RTX and the frame rates and the fact that Bedrock doesn't have replay mod makes that whole thing a whole lot harder, but I hope it at least gave you some kind of an overview of basically what we have achieved here in the last year. When we first moved here, it was just a barren, desolate wasteland. In fact, it looks just like this. That should hopefully be a screenshot on screen now. And now it looks like this from the same angle. So you can really see how much we've added to the area, how much we've built, and how much we've just changed the landscape and the coastline as well. Hey fella, don't, 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 don't be angry with me. I can hear a spider as well, this is concerning. I have had so much fun building here though that I could continue to build here for another year and still not be completely finished. And in that note, there are still a lot of empty buildings here. There's a, there's a lot of interiors that just never got done. But that's absolutely fine because at the end of the season when the world comes available for download, you can go around and do all the interiors for me and you can show me what you've managed to do because well, I, I, I'm not a big fan of interiors, let's be honest. I like creating nice big landscapes and buildings and things like that. And if I need to do interiors, then by all means I will. And sometimes I do like to dabble. In fact, maybe, maybe I should try and do some interiors in future instead of just leaving all these buildings empty all the time. This area also holds a lot of early memories from the season as well. Like that time when we said to Foxy, can you give us a hand blowing up a village? Yeah, I'm not sure. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Yay, you came out. Oh, 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 oh my god, there goes my wall. And that time Dadcraft stole all of our diamonds from the diamond trees. Di diamond pines, sorry, diamond pines, Dadcraft, I'm sorry. Right, so every single one of my trees appears to have been robbed of all his diamonds. Your use of the diamond tree TM name is against the moons and must be changed immediately. Just to ensure that you understand the seriousness of these charges, I provided a message that you are sure to understand. Sincerely, Dad Diamond Tree Craft. Right. Okay, I see. Like that, is it, Dad Craft? Like that. And of course, let us not forget the problems we've had with trees this season. Maybe, maybe Barry needs a, maybe he needs a slightly different name. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe his name wasn't, you know, wasn't quite hardcore enough. There we go. Much better. Spruce Willis. And now hopefully he will grow. But for now, we shall wait. But if you have joined the series late and haven't seen that, then I do recommend going back and checking out some of those episodes. We've had a lot of fun over here. But this isn't the only place we've built throughout the season. Due to an incident in the nether where we may or may not have accidentally murdered S'mores, the brown panda with lava. A bad thing happened. Um, wait a minute. Someone stole my panda. And I'll be the first to admit that I may have jumped to some conclusions there. It turned out, on, on researching and going back through the stream, that, 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 it, was, that, it, that it was my fault. It was my fault. I, I accidentally killed him. Um, when I was when I was working on the ceiling up there, a little bit of lava escaped and it kind of flowed down and may have burnt my brown panda. So we then went ahead and made a Panda Island Sanctuary to repent for our sins against panda kind. And over here we've had, throughout the series in fact, we've had, I think it's close to 60 pandas now have been named by people who have been watching on Twitch with Channel Point Redemptions. In fact, we've even kept a book of all the names here. And yes, there are exactly 60 named pandas over here on the island. Some of them may have gone on slight adventures to other islands nearby, but in general, they're all still mostly here. And I'm really pleased with this build. We terraformed the entire island. We did something modern, which is something we don't usually do. And most importantly of all, here on Pandagascar, we have saved many, many pandas. We're now gonna move on and head over 
to one of, if not quite possibly, my favourite build of the season, where I got a little bit out of my comfort zone. And that is, of course, over here in the Winter District, where we made our Christmas game. And this was a massive challenge for me, and I can't believe some people still haven't picked up their winnings. I mean, I mean, you know, a couple of blocks of gold, fair enough, but Silence left diamond blocks there. So this is a TB Christmas adventure, which was an escape room game we made. If I pop my head in here, you can see exactly how much stuff there is. In fact, that snow is blocking the way. There we go. And it's a chain of different escape rooms with puzzle solving and things to find and discover. And it also ended with a scavenger hunt at the end. But overall, this was basically just something I wanted to try and do because I've never really done too much with redstone. I, I didn't, before I did this, understand much of redstone at all. And although all of this is fairly simple, it's pretty much just timers and levers and things like that, it was still quite hard to get it all together to work exactly as I wanted to. We managed to integrate lots of note blocks and things like that as well, which I was very pleased with how they turned out. I think I've just retuned that one. My aim for this game was, of course, to make it foolproof, but then we are on the TB server after all. Groover came along. What happened? Come on, tell me what happened. Well, there's a minecart that seemed to get dispensed, so I jumped in it, thinking, yeah, okay, a little bit of damage, that's right. Oh, hello. Hi. Thank, hi, you. <laughs> Thank you. How did you even get in this bit? I don't know, I just, there's what? a thing <laughs> over here somewhere. And that is quite possibly one of my favourite bits of the whole series. That just, that cracked me up, that did. Just getting that poor message from him while I was playing. But I do recommend you go back and uh, check out that episode if you want to see a little bit more about what Groover got himself into. And then, of course, there was that time when Zloy was here. And he was helping me to test things and got quite into character. Alright. Here I come. Start the game. You did block blocks! I'm so proud of you! Oh no! You're flipping kidding me! That was I just needed to turn the page! Oh. <laughs> For a first attempt at making a game in Minecraft, and pretty much my first attempt at doing something large with redstone, I'm really pleased with how that came out, and you will be able to play that. It is all fully stocked and ready to go when the world download comes out, so I hope you enjoy that. The Winter District over here was, of course, placed with many games. We had Liara's race course at the top here, which is very good, very challenging. And then there was the Elytra course, and of course we have built this entirely around DB's Industrial Zone which seems to be having a similar problem to elsewhere on the server. I'm not going to go getting too close to that. I wonder if DB's aware of this. There's lots of awesome builds and fun things for you to explore over here, but I'm going to actually head back to Chunktown because, well, that's where everything began. That's where we built our very first build on the TB server. Oh, my word. What? How in the world is that? You're in, you're in the overworld. You're not supposed to be able to be here. What? I'm so confused. Why are you not zombified? Ah! He's really angry with me. I should have worn gold. When did Chunkdown get so dangerous? Ooh, this is nice. What's all this? No, oh, he's still coming. I mean, it looks lovely and I'd love to stop and have a look, but I'm being hunted by a madman in diamond armor. Oh, I'm off, I'm off. This is crazy. Why can't I fly? No, oh, I can't do anything. He just won't leave me alone. Right, there we go, that's better. I've had to hide on the roof of my house, but that's really weird. They really shouldn't be able to be here. I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to turn into zombified piglins once they're in the overworld. This is just getting stranger and stranger. What we did, of course, come back here for was to have a look at our one chunk build. So at the start of the season, you may or may not know, we all basically just took control of a single chunk. And the idea was we were going to base there, we based together, for example we've got Tears and Silent and Groover and Liara, everyone's very very close together. And I built this. I, I don't really know what I was trying to do, I just kept adding bits onto it. It became a very sort of janky build, but did pretty much lead to the style we then carried on throughout the season. Which was essentially, I hate building roofs, so let's just slam some blocks on it and hope for the best. And in here we did also hide a few farms, we've got some things down there. I think we even dug out a slime chunk, but we never used that in the end. But of course, the most exciting things that happened over here were down to Tiz, because he was trying not to die at the start of the season, so we first of all booby-trapped his base. Yeah. 
He's going to be digging up his base for weeks looking for traps. We then received a message from Tiz saying he was very scared and he moved into our house, which was excellent. He was right under our noses and we would be able to get him in no time at all. Until he found our plans, that is. Hey, it's Tiz. One second. It was... You You did that? Did... You, made, you, you made me paranoid? Uh, oh. Uh, no? no? What, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? What are you doing? Why are you I... throwing chests out the window? I'm, I'm moving up. I oh. found, I found something. I'm coming down. What do you, what do you mean you found something? I mean, end your bed. I found this, this book here. What is that? Uh, master plan. Well, it sounds like someone's master plan, doesn't it? And there began the vengeance of Tiz, and he proceeded to prank me a lot of times throughout the series. He even scammed me. I mean, it was called scam. I shouldn't really have fallen for it. Well, Tiz. Well, t and there was me thinking, maybe I could let you live after all. Maybe I could let you go unscathed for the whole season. And and, and now, now you've done this. Oh, you're going to pay, Tiz. So just across from Chunk Town is, of course, the shopping district. Over here at the shopping district, we built our first shop fairly early on, which was, of course, the ocean shop here. And we carried on experimenting with the same style we used in Chunk Town, added a massive trident, and then didn't really sell anything until the last couple of weeks. We then built a slime shop, which we actually based on the Ghostbusters building, which was an excellent idea from the always wonderful Mrs. B. And this enabled us to basically try and sell slime which once again, no one really bought until the last couple of weeks. Are you seeing a trend here? We also made ourselves a miniature end island and created an end shop, which did pretty well for itself. And then we decided to move on to the sort of modern building over here and experiment with a few different things. And with that, we created beards. We also created the mini block shop, which had an upgrade. And this is probably my favorite looking shop. I think it came out really well. We've used so many blocks in here and it took an absolute age to do, but I really think it was worth it. And I'd, I'd kind of like to maybe mess around with the mini blocks a little bit more in future. But I think I just want to build some little sculptures and things because that was really fun and they just work really well. This season, however, I definitely spent way too much time selling them. Once again, for a tidy profit. And then, of course, we also built our mech shop, which was just an excuse to build a big modern building and lots of mechs. I mean, why wouldn't you want to build mechs given an opportunity like that? Um, and what's happening with the moon now as well? All store? Why is it advertising the all store? How has Lloyd managed to do that? I'll tell you what, half the time it's best just not even to ask questions on this server. I'm just going to keep on running and pretend I didn't see that. To finish off the modern area, we also built our shiny shop over here, which has actually done quite well for us. We've sold loads of gold. We've sold, well, obviously we ended up selling everything because somebody went on a massive shopping spree recently. But besides that, this shop did actually do pretty well before that. And of course, we added our vault into the bottom, which can I get into our vault? So if I put the key in there, that should open our door. We'll take the key back out and look at this. This is where we've stored a lot of our memories. We've got books and, oh, pig step. That's uh, that's Tiz's pig step. We should, we should probably get that back to him at some point. But other than that, this is just all of our sort of memory room, really. So we've got the banners from the stalls we had up in the shopping district, as well as banners from other shops. We've got one of our mechs. And of course, we've got our stacks and stacks and stacks of diamond blocks. I don't even know how many are in here, but we've definitely made bank on these. Speaking of banks, have we tried just brute force? Maybe we could just get in formation, fly at the side of the building and glitch through the blocks? I have seen it done before. I'm pretty confident mm, that could yeah. work. You know, the building is probably made out of mini blocks. We could probably just fly right through it. See, this is true. Follow me. Come on, chaps, get into formation. We can do this ah! one after the other. Three, two, one, leader. go. Fire, oh. we can do this. Okay. I don't think that worked out well. I think that pretty much concludes our tour of the shopping district over here. As I say, we did manage to add in quite a few shops. We made some tasty profits. We had enough diamonds to buy things when we needed them. And that's all you could possibly want, really. And I just love how this area looks. It's just such a clash of different build styles. But when you put them all together in an area like this, I just I love how it looks. You can really see the character of the server coming out in all of the individual builds. There are also many other small things we've built on the server here and there in different places. And of course, there's everyone else's bases as well. There's just, there's so much to explore. I really cannot cover it all in one video. I mean, we didn't even touch on the corral that me and Killer built. That was really fun. I'm, I'm actually really happy with how this came out as well, because 
we got a we really have the start of a small little ranch here. We do, we do, and it's looking absolutely amazing. It looks pretty good from up here, but it looks fantastic from down there. And that was, of course, a lot of fun building with Killer. Sadly, we didn't get to finish our builds over there. We never did get to build our hotel and our dueling grounds and all those bits and bobs. But that's something you can always do on the world download and send me some pictures of how you can expand that western area. I guess the last place to show you is, of course, our nether tunnel, which we never really got to finishing the tunnel on the other side of the secret door here. And we never quite got round to building our beard cave at the top here either. But I kind of, I had a slight picture in my head of what I wanted to do with this space, but I couldn't figure out a way to make it work. So we just kept putting it off and focusing on other projects. And I think that's probably for the best because, well, the nether's scary, the nether's dangerous, and I die enough as it is. There's also, of course, the haunting memory of this being where we lost s'mores, but maybe we should, maybe we should move on. And with that, I think we can pretty much conclude our miniature world tour and our base tour. It's been an absolutely amazing year here on the server, and I really can't wait to see what the next year holds as well. For now, however, I'm afraid that's going to be a buy from me for this episode. And if you've got any other favourite bits you want to highlight to me and share, by all means, please do let me know in the comments, because it's been a very nostalgic trip making this video. It's taken me about a week longer than it should have done, because I just kept looking back at lots of the old stuff we've done on my episodes and other people's. It's just been too much fun. For now, though, I'm going to say goodbye, and I will see you all on the next episode. Bye now.